professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. So, so what's happening, fam? Um, LAR movement still moving. Subscriber died trying. You see the thumbnail. So is this a Me Too Rico case? So I, I'm at work, I'm getting off, and I see R. Kelly popping up on social media and on people, and people are talking about it. So basically, he went to another case, I'm guessing in New York. I believe it's New York. And they gave him 30 years for um, trafficking and racketeering again. Same thing that he had before, right? Now, I talked about this before where it's like at some point, this these cases gonna get overturned. And because you they, they're basically double jeopardy RICO cases. And the problem with that is, and if people have seen it recently, is you got, how can I say this? Bill Cosby, who wound up going back to court and losing a quote unquote case. You got Bill Cosby, who just finished another case. Um, and, uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, who, uh, you know, got publicly filleted for lying. And you got um, Young Thug and Gunner on this Rico case, right? Going on at the same time with this R. Kelly thing. Now, why does this pertain to R. Kelly is because the Gunner and, and Young Thug thing is a Rico case. See, racketeering is Rico. So racketeering and quote unquote trafficking, that would be, that's organized crime. To have organized crime, you have to have an organization. So to be to be racketeering, you need to have people working for you in this racketeering racket and this trafficking racket. So, but the Me Too movement is still like, hey, hey, hey R. Kelly's a big fish now. We, we can pin something on R. Kelly, like you know, he's been he's been busting women down for years. So, at this particular one, I was reading up on the article or whatever. And they said, you know, there were like 10 witnesses, 10 female, is either 10 altogether or 10 women who said he, and, and some of those women said he had sex with them when they were minors. And there were two men who said he had sex with them when they were minors. And I'm like, y'all should have never put that in public because we can buy R. Kelly having sex with, uh, women and quote unquote young girls. We could have bought you could buy that. Two young boys though. Too much sauce. Too much sauce. And this is what I said the last time. They put too y'all put too much sauce on this stuff. And then all this sauce is gonna come back to bite you. All of it's gonna come back to bite you because it's gonna be like, okay, because what happens when your witnesses lie? What happens when you when you say okay when when you have witnesses who hopped on the stand and then it, you come to find out okay this person lied this person perjured themselves so part of your 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 so your ruling is based on a lie so if this because if two dudes definitely lying just gonna just the two dudes are definitely lying are all of the girls lying probably not you know they probably had sex with R Kelly. Are uh, they saying when? Mm, who knows? Age? Who knows? But here's the other problem. You know, if nobody else goes to jail because it's trafficking, and I'm going to tell you the problem with that trafficking thing. He wasn't a, he's not a pimp. He's he's not a pimp. He's not a manager. He's not out here making women sell their body to other people. He's not getting a dime. Like basically, these women were living with him. <laughs> they were living in his house. That's that's not trafficking. Like who you had sex with, R. Kelly? Nobody else? No, no, I wasn't. I was sleeping with R. Kelly. Why not? So you, so he didn't make you sleep with other people, and uh, women in the house were sleeping with other women and R. Kelly. Threesomes was going on, but there were no, there were no payments and no dudes. 
So, I mean, my common sense says, hey, man, there's going to come a point where all of this is going to be like, okay, we put way too much sauce on this. Way too much sauce. Now, personally, he probably going to do, in total, with him being in jail now, three to five years. Seriously. Because he might be in jail for three to five years. And and then, um, you know, they're just going to say, okay, this is some BS. We didn't have him in there for long enough. He got to go now. You know. And then people go, what about the girls and the women? And then at some point, y'all going to see how so these girls and women have lied. or put, And it's going to be a whole other different story. Like, I hate I, I I I hate that we even gotta go down this road, but y'all know what group groupies do what groupies do. And you're seeing too many groupies out in public now. You're seeing how groupies operate, you're seeing the things they do, you're seeing, you know, the to the extent that these young older women, younger women, and young ladies who ain't even women yet, the extent that they will go to get with a celebrity. And you're assuming that they wouldn't have done that. that that these these people are innocent and they aren't of the same mentality when they are. It's a problem. Because none of this was for, you know, was it for fame? That's why it's the Me Too thing. Fame, clout, and hopefully be a star. Probably is casting couch, a lifestyle. Yeah, okay. But let's just be honest. He wasn't paying prostitutes to sleep with him. And he wasn't, and other men weren't paying to sleep with them and he Get money from it. So, as a matter of fact, it's the other way around. Like, people were trying to, were robbing him <laughs> while this was going on. So, this is going to be, is, is this a Me Too Rico case? Because if he don't want to go to jail, that's not a, I'm telling you, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. This is my opinion. But like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace.